listen 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 i am so so excited y'all listen oh my god it took me like a week to be able to do this video i had to really really calm my my nerves down to be able to make this video um first thing first i want to thank y'all for liking and subscribing to my channel y'all it's been a while it's been a while i think i done had the channel over four years now um i originally started this channel um because i wanted to huh, I started this channel because I wanted to allow you guys to watch um, what I was seeing, um, what God had told me was going to happen. And um, that's really why I, I did this channel to sh show you guys, um, to allow you guys to go along this journey with me. Um, I went public maybe about four years ago. I got allergies, y'all. I just found out uh, maybe about a week ago. I found that out too, that I had allergies. But listen. Four years ago, I went public with my HIV status. Um, here was the first place I went public at, and then I went over to Facebook or whatever. But on that day, I told God the desires of my heart. I told him certain things that I wanted to I wanted to accomplish. I said I wanted to write a book. I wanted to become educated um, and learn more about HIV and AIDS, that I wanted to start a nonprofit. I wanted to write a book. I wanted to do speaking. I told him all of these things that was on my heart and that had been on my heart for so long. And not only that, these were the same things that he had um, told me about in my in my sadness. Um, so that's where a lot of this was coming from, from, from the things that he told me and that he showed me for my life. And it became um, a desire for me to have those things that he told me. But listen, y'all, the other day, when I came from um, California, and I, I tried my best, y'all, when I was in California to to vlog, but I don't know how to do it. I did it a little bit. I'm going to show y'all what I have. I'm going to make a video about it. But when I came from California the next day, I got, um, I checked my mail, and I checked my mail at my nonprofit. I checked my mail, and I got a letter from the IRS saying that my nonprofit was approved, that it um, was actually now officially a, a 501c3. Um, and I, I had to really digress from that because that's just like, listen, imagine, imagine wanting to do a thing or have a thing and not know how to get there. Like you have no clue where to start, or who to ask for help, who can help. You don't even know if you're capable of doing it. Like, oh my God, my ass. Like you don't know. And then you arrive to the place to where you have that thing. It's just like, it's one thing to believe God for something, but it's a whole nother thing to watch him give you everything you desire right <laughs> in front of you. In front, I'm in front of myself. I'm not in front of nobody because don't nobody know the desires of my heart like I do. I've told people the desires of my heart, but deep down in my soul, don't nobody but me and God know, know that. Um, and I'm watching the hand of God in my life and it is building my faith. Um, and on a level that I don't know of, I, I knew God, I met God in my sadness, right? I met him in my sadness. So for me to experience him now in my happiness, in my joy, it's like absolutely amazing. He's the same God that he was when I was sad. <laughs> you would, you would, you would think that it would change, but it, it has not changed. It has not changed. He said that none of this was going to be in vain. None of this was going to be for nothing. And that's actually happening and it's really actually um and it's really actually freaking me out um and i had to really digress from it but listen this is what i realized on today i was just doing my meditation that i do on a day-to-day -day basis oh my god y'all this it, I, don't, I don't know which one worse the yarning or my ass study watering i really honestly don't know but listen i was doing my medicate my meditation and meditating on my thoughts Yes, I meditate on my own thoughts. Meditate on my thoughts, listening to God and just um just in my silence and listen to what I what I realized. I've had so many bad days before I got to today. I am qualified for everything that I am receiving in my life. Um because it's been so, listen. I've had many bad days i have been i've had many sad days depressed days suicidal days not 
giving a fuck days, wanting to die days, not caring about nothing days, not wanting to get out of bed days, not wanting to eat days. I didn't had the worst days of my entire life. Do you understand me? And on today, I don't experience none of it. Okay, just I'm going to be 100 because I got to. <laughs> I experienced some of those days still, but it ain't on the level that it is right now. You know what I mean? Let me see. Okay. It's not on the level that, um, it's not on the level that it, it once was far as me not want to not care. Some days I just really don't care. I don't want to do nothing. It's that's, that's healthy though. You sometimes you have to stop and do nothing, but listen, I've had many days that was not good. And I am having so many days of joy, so many th days of happiness, so many days of clarity, so many days of happiness, happiness, so many days. Listen, oh my God, y'all just don't know. Uh, I can't even express it. I, I, I'm, I do really good with, with expressing myself. I'm really good with words, but I'm not knowing how to express this. It's just freaking crazy. Listen. I am in a season of my life where God is opening the doors, the doors and the windows of heaven. Listen, I know they say the windows of heaven, but he is cracking doors for me and allowing me to see some. I'm having days of happiness, days of joy, days of, of peace, days of comfort, days where I feel um, empowered, days of when I feel like I can take over the world, um, days of becoming humble. Days of becoming grateful. Days of becoming um weird. I'm, I'm when I say becoming weird because I'm becoming a whole new per. I'm becoming a new person. So I don't I, I don't even know her. <laughs> so I'm becoming someone else. But I'm becoming who God um created me to be. So I'm having days of uh uncert uncertainty too because I don't know what's going on. I don't know. But what I do know is I know I'm right where God want me to be. That's what I do know if I don't know nothing else. So I came today to tell y'all, listen, do not give up. Do not give up on yourself. Do not give up on your dreams. Do not give up on your desires. Do not. I don't care what it looked like. I don't care what it feel like. I don't care what happened. Do not give up on the desires of your heart because it's going to come a day when God allows you to receive the thing that you really desire. Listen, this is where I'm at. God has allowed me to receive the thing. So now I, I ask him, God, what do you want me to do with what you have given me? Imagine that. Imagine when you get to the place of the success that you want or when you get to your goals and your dreams and you have that thing you want. Imagine that. You don't sit there. It's another level to uh, success. It's another level to um, your goals and your dreams. Once you get to where you want to be at, then it's time to do what God wants you to do with it. That's the point of getting it. You don't get it just to have it. I don't have a I don't. I don't have a five hundred one c three just to have it. No. I have a 501c3 so a nonprofit so that I can help God's people. I have a publishing company so that I can help people tell their story and so that people around the universe can see the hand of God in other people's life. That's why God allowed me to get what I have. So that oh my god my eye. <laughs> God allowed me to get God allowed me to have what I have so that I can show people through my life and through what I do, who he is and whose I am. That's what this is all about. Life always takes you back to God, whatever it is that you do. If what you're doing and what you desire is not taking you back to God or is not taking you back to serving God's people, you probably want to rethink the things that you want and the things that you desire because it's not it's, it's not lining up with righteousness. It's not. You have to do some reevaluations of your life. Yes. I'm so excited, y'all. Like, ugh. I'm so excited. I don't know how to, I don't even know how to be, I don't even know how to be this type of excited. It's weird, but I thank God for allowing me to, to, to go through what I'm going through right now. I thank God that, oh my, eye. <laughs> I thank God that, I thank God that he gave me the strength to go through my 
process so that I can get to my progress. Y'all just don't know. Oh my God. I thank God for allowing me to, I thank God for giving me the strength. Do y'all know it's been some trying times, baby? But the Bible say through, through, through him, you can do all things through him to give you the strength. I thank God for giving me the strength to go through the process that I went through of being sad, of being depressed, of, of um, having HIV, for wanting to kill myself, for wanting to give up. I thank God for the process of everything that I went through because now I'm receiving, I'm receiving, um, I'm receiving from that process, the progress. This is the progress. This is the progress that's happening right now. I've progressed so much. I don't even know how to act. I don't know how I feel. It's weird. It's really weird. It's weird to think of all you've been through and then look at your life like, wow, I finally arrived. But listen, I finally arrived to the destination that I wanted to go. But this is not it. God say, oh, okay, you reached it. So now, baby, this is what I want you to do. Now, <laughs> I'm going into a new season of my life, y'all. And I am absolutely ecstatic. I don't even know how to act. I'm excited that God chose me. I'm, I'm excited that God chose me in this little HIV thing to exalt the kingdom of heaven. I am so, so, so excited that God chose me for that. Um, he could have chose anybody. And my little, my little ratchet, my little ratchet self, <laughs> for the rap, I'm ratchet. Okay, when I say ratchet, I come from the projects. I come from poverty. I don't have an education. I don't have a high school diploma. I come from nothing. I got HIV. I have an attitude problem. I suffer from anxiety, depression, all that. I've been through the, the been through hell, and God allowed me to keep my mind when I came up out of hell, baby. I'm not really qualified. If you really, if you think of it in a natural sense, I'm not qualified to do what God is allowing me to do. I'm not qualified for what God has allowed me to do and what he's about to have me to do. But baby, I might think I'm not qualified naturally, but seriously, baby, I am qualified for the assignment. I was born to do this. I was born to do what I am about to do and what I am doing right now. Before the kingdom of, listen, before the foundation of the world, God had already ordained me to do what I'm about to do. And that's what I believe in the spirit. I just have to come over to the natural. See, it's one thing. So you have to be balanced out. You got to really believe in the spirit. And you got to believe in the natural. It's, it's, it's a whole, listen, baby, it's a whole process to get to the progress y'all that's all i really honestly had to say but listen i'm about to be doing a whole lot of different things y'all my nonprofit is now 501c3 and i just thank god i thank god for choosing me to do this i don't know what is gonna happen i don't know how god is gonna get it done i don't know but all i know is that i am excited and i am glad that he chose me to do what he want me to do for the kingdom of heaven i am excited y'all i'm overly excited so listen do not forget to go on facebook and um like my business page or what look like like the nonprofit page is unique purpose inc let me tell y'all what new unique purpose inc came from unique purpose inc came from purpose <laughs> purpose that's what everything is about purpose everything has purpose everything has meaning everything has a purpose <laughs> everything it's no strange happiness. None. My 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 middle name is Unique. Unique is one of a kind. One of a kind is somebody that's to me how I feel. One of a kind is is just you set aside. You sacred. You just your own self. Like you just different from everybody else. You're unique. It's just you. I feel like God allowed this to happen to me for my purpose on purpose. That's why I call my nonprofit unique purpose. This 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 um me getting HIV was unique for me to get it so that I can do God's purpose for my life. That's what I honestly believe with all that I have and actually I did not come up with the name on my own. I on one of a friend of mine that already has a nonprofit and a publishing company. We was talking and talking and we came up with that name um together as a whole. So I definitely um make sure I say that. I don't want to say I came up with it by myself because I did not. I was actually going to call my my um I was gonna do all my stuff the same. I was gonna do um unique presents, unique um unique presents LLC for the uh publishing company and unique presents for the nonprofit, but 
as me and her talked, because you got to really talk, you got to seek wise counsel sometimes, especially from people that already know what you got going on. Because before she had her publishing company, I had mine, and she had her nonprofit. So we was exchanging energies, helping each other with that. And after having a, a, a conversation with her, it made a lot of sense to make things separate. So yeah, so that's where the name came from. I definitely had to shout her out. I'm not going to say her name because she don't like that. But that's where um, Unique Purpose came from. So listen, please do not forget to go over on Facebook and like my page. I have not yet um, built a, a website. I actually just got a website for Unique Presents LLC Publishing Company. So the next thing that's on the agenda is to get a, um to get um to get a website and start building this um this organization. But um for the most part, I'm. 100% excited about everything. If y'all have any questions or concerns about anything, please um, reach out to me. Peace and sticky hat grease. I got a phone call coming through.